You too, man. It's your boy, Little DT. Y'all know the slogan, as always. If you not tapped in, you tap out, man. So listen, pretty much, I just want to come to the channel to talk to y'all about life, man. Life, it just be life and some time. Like, you feel me? And I've been away from the tube for a little bit. And I, and I feel sorry for the people that do believe in me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I genuinely do feel bad because I feel like that's disrespectful. Like, if you believe in someone, they just playing with their talent. Because I got people that I believe in, and I'll be like, yo, bro, like, like, you playing with me, bro. Like, I'm really sitting here. I believe you could do it. Like, I really put my all into you knowing that you could do it. And you over here playing. Like, you're not even taking that as serious as I am. Like, I'm sitting here putting my belief in you, and you're not even, like, you feel me? Just like, you shitting in my face. So that's how I be feeling sometimes. Like, like, I'm doing y'all wrong. Man, I just had to get my head right, you feel me? Sometimes people need time off, like, you know what I mean? Like, things change, people change, times come around, you feel me? It's like, you need to relax for a little bit. But I feel like, other than that, the relaxing's done. I'm done relaxing, you feel me? This is just for everybody that, that really want to grind. I just want to be around people that want to grind right now, you feel me? So, I don't care where you from, like, you feel me? If you want to grind, you watching this video, yeah, y'all know where I'm from, Redding, Pennsylvania, so you feel me? If you out in Redding, you want to work, hit me up. I'm down to work any day of the week. If you from New York, Florida, Philly, it don't matter, bro. Like, I'll take the trip to content create with some people, you know what I mean? I want to come back to the tube and actually do it the right way this time, be consistent for y'all. So y'all can honestly get to see what we doing a lot more often. I want to start doing more vlogs and be able to sit down and talk to y'all, because I don't really sit down and talk. That's the one thing. I started YouTube because I wanted to be able to show people that there's another way to take, you know what I mean? Like, where I'm from, like I say, uh, maybe I heard it, maybe I haven't, but where I'm from, people just, if you're not hooping or you're not a gang banger, it's like, that, there's only two options, you know what I mean? So I wanted to be like, all right, I can show these young niggas, like, bro, you can really do something else and still be cool. And like, I did it already, like, you know what I mean? I'm not saying I got a million subscribers and I got 100,000 subscribers or a hundred thousand views every day like nah yeah I didn't do that much but I feel like as far as impact like I did what I had to do but I'm not saying that's where it ends because the end goal like, I want to I want you to be able like if you a kid watching this right now I want you to be able when you see me like oh yo, yo DT like you feel me mostly I see me for the most part when y'all see me I'm mad thorough like I say something you feel me y'all hit me up on the ground like yo bro I just I was hooping with you this morning you feel me some boy said it this morning that should make me happy I'm like yeah like but I like when I interact with people because like, I want you to understand, bro. If I can make it, any of y'all can make it. That's the real reason I want to do it. Just to really show people, like, bro, if you chase your dreams, bro, it don't matter what it is. It don't matter what it is, bro. You give your dream a full good month of working, bro. Feel me? You're not going to be at the same spot that you was at the first month. I be trying to explain that to people so much, bro. I be like, you only seeing two options. Like, y'all be wanting to be so, so tunnel vision to two options. When it's like, bro, there's people out here, millionaires off of anything right now like this is the greatest time to become a millionaire like the year that we live 2024 the way the united states set up right now bro this is the greatest time to be a millionaire like it, 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 it's not gonna get easier than this right now that's what i'm saying it's only gonna get harder so we we at the all-time peak of millionaires you got kwan kwan if y'all know him on youtube kwan driving around the hellcats rolls royce and mclaren he copping these cars like you feel me he popping his shit you got niggas like him then you got niggas like Clothing brand niggas, like, multiple, like, a lot of clothing brand people, million dollars, bro. Then you got Forex people, million dollars. You got girls doing all types of, I don't know, yada yada, million dollars. You got people sports betting, million dollars, you know what I mean? Like, bro, a million's not even hard anymore. Everybody just make it so hard, and I'm not going to act like I'm not part of the problem, because I do, I do the same thing. I feel like I could have been, I could have been, had 100,000 subscribers, I could have been two, three thousand. Three, two, three hundred thousand into my subscribers, but I just had feel me setbacks. Like I said, it had to be some time taking off. Now, even when I was taking time off, I still tried to drop a video here and there for y'all, but it was like something killed my vibe along the throughout the journey. Something like really messed my head up. So it just been hard to like get myself back into that groove. It's like once you got that little motion going on, boom, boom, you stack and you stack and you stack it. You make it to a point. And it felt like somebody just knock you off and like, boom, you go right back to the bottom. Just have to build it from the top again. That's how I feel right now. But I know I know for the most part, the people in my city, or if you are even watching this video, you know what I mean? I know the people around me, they going to tap in. You feel me? Out the love. We got big news coming, feel me? 
Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about moving soon. I'm thinking about moving soon again. So if y'all watch me and you're original DT supporter, you feel me? Y'all seen when I moved to Miami. I moved to Miami like after high school, like two, three months after high school. <laughs> feel me? Flew out. Ended up living out there with some people. Cool guys. We just fell out. Feel me? Came back to the hood with my mom. Feel me? Now I got a spot with my mom. No, I'm not living with my mom. Like, you feel me? I pay my bills. I pay a lot of bills. Right, mom? But, um, feel me? I'm thinking about the next move now. I feel like this place got nothing for me anymore, man. Like, the more the more you stay in your city, let me just, before I really start ranting, I want this video to really be not too long, probably like 10 minutes. Before I really start ranting, let me just tell you this. If you're not around what you want to get, you never get it. I heard this theory called like the something effect. Uh, someone commented if y'all understand or know what it is, but it was pretty much like, all right, so let's say right now I'm in a Chevy, you feel me? So let's just say I'm in a Chevy, boom. So I'm in a Chevy and it's pink. It's a pink Chevy, but it's a certain model. Then you start driving around the hood and boom, now you see the same model car. It may, it may not be pink, but it might be like blue. Boom, you see the same model though, same model, everything, just different color. And boom, you make a right. Boom, you see another one. You're like, damn, like, what the hell? And boom, you make another one. And boom, you see it again. You're like, bro, like, I've never seen this car so many times until you got it. So that's why they always try to say surround yourself around things. Because once you start surrounding yourself around things, like, let's say I'm around a whole bunch of content creators. You know what I mean? There's no content creators out here, so it'll be hard to content curate. Because there's no content creators where I'm from. So how are we going to content curate if there's nobody here? You know what I mean? So let's say I'm in New York, a whole lot of content creators. I'm around it. You're gonna see it more. You're gonna be able to get into it. You're gonna be able to do it. You know what I mean? You're gonna see, every time the opportunity slides by, you're really gonna see it now, cause you're around it so much. So when you see the content available, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, there it is right there. Boom! I just seen that John. You know what I mean? You'll finally start seeing everything more often once you're around it and possess it. Like you don't have to physically possess content, but you, you should know what I mean by the by the theory. It was sort of explained in a way like that. Like once you're around it, you, you're more often to see it off. You're more often to see the opportunity. It's like a guy with a million dollar opportunity. If he got a million dollars and he already knows how to get a million dollars, he's going to see any million dollar opportunity. Like, you know what I mean? He already going to see it because he already got that mindset. You feel me? So as soon as you get this, you got this car, boom. Now you start seeing all like that because you got it. So now you're more focused on that. If th that that's the better way to explain it. Like, I got the car. Now, boom. Now I see it so much, but it's only because I didn't have it before. I got it now. Now I'm starting to see every single. Now I'm starting to see every time it go by. Same thing with the opportunities. You know what I mean? You start seeing them like, oh yeah, I'm around these niggas. We doing this, that. Oh boom, this could be a video. Boom, this could, we could put these girls right there. Boom, this could be. You start seeing everything more clear. But being out here, be like, it's not great for that. A lot of people out here where I'm from just know that. Red in Pennsylvania, y'all act like. Niggas got guns when I pull out a camera. It's bad out here, like, for real, like. They act like we got guns. You pull a camera out, it's like you have a AK-47, one in the head, ready to kill you. Ah! Chill! Bro, bro. Bro, come on, bro. I can't be on the camera, bro. A girl's like, eh, stop it. Mm-mm, like, bro. Cut it out, bro. Everywhere you go in the world, bro, that's why, like, certain people just can't win, bro, because they don't want to work. They don't, I'm not saying, like, oh, you gotta, you gotta be in the video, but, like, Bro, you go anywhere else, bro. You go to Miami, everybody's working. You feel me? You go to Texas, everybody's working. Atlanta, everybody's working. Yo, let's all link up. Boom, you got all these great content creators linking up together, making movies, making each other better. Because they know that, bro, you, you got to really know what come with it. Like, y'all, some people might look at it and don't know what really come with it. I feel like that's why they make that decision. It's like, oh, no, nah, I don't want to be a YouTuber. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. You really got to know what come with it, the end result. Like, no matter what you pick in life, you're going to be working. It just depends. Are you going to be working on something you want to work for? Or are you going to be working under... Like, do you want to be your own boss? Or do you want someone else coming downstairs and telling you, Yo, bro, yeah, line four, nigga. Go flip that fucking patty, pussy. Like, nah, nigga. Who do you want to be? That's what you got. That's what you really got to come down to at the end of the day. Like, you really got to sit there and be like, Do I want to be the boss? Or do I want to let another nigga boss me around all day? And tell me what I got to do. Yo, bitch-ass nigga. Come here. Yeah, go to line three. Go we'll flip seven patties, bitch. Like, you know what I mean? Or do you want to wake up in the morning and be like, oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm about to make this video and make 10 bands. You feel me? Boom. It's that simple. You still got to work, but it's what you're working for, who you're working for, and do you love what you're working as. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, you're not about to sit there and tell me you love flipping patties. No. Because I bet if, uh, if you love riding dirt bikes and niggas to you, I'm about to sign you for a million dollars to ride this dirt bike. You're going to be oh, yeah, I'm taking the opportunity. Feel me? 
y'all gotta really like lock in. Like, sometimes I be forgetting where I'm going with the story, but I just be knowing I be saying something. You know what I mean? But yeah, I pretty much just came here to talk to y'all today about like just like I've been away. I've been away, man. I've been away. I've been lost in my head. I've been fucked up in the head. It's been a lot, bro. Just know it's been a lot. It's been hard to create content. It'd be hard to stay motivated sometimes, and that's yeah, that's bad because you should have your own motivation. You should be able to be able to motivate yourself. But sometimes out here, bro, just be like. It's like a broken dream out here, bro. For real. That's why I made the decision again to move. So just know that we're going to be moving soon. Me and some of the people that y'all see in these videos. So some of us will be moving soon. And we'll be going to another state. And we're going to start our journey again. Part two. Uh, the journey with me. So if you're here, I hope you stay here. If you're over there, I hope you stay over there. Because from now on, it's all put on gas. All the lames get stuck in the past. Uh, we don't got time for that no more. I love all y'all. I appreciate all y'all support. I mean, I just hope that shit, the next time I really sit down and talk to y'all, I get to show, I really get to talk to y'all for a reason. Like, next time I talk to y'all, I'm gonna agree with y'all with this. Next time I drop a video like this, I'm only gonna be thanking y'all for 100,000 subscribers. So just know that. Next time I sit down, remember this day. What is it? It's March, let's just say 16th, am I right? 17th, off by a day. March 17th, um, 7 a.m., sitting in the car, thinking about life. Before I go slave, just so you know, I'm about to go slave. Yes, I still work. For the people that don't think I work, go get a job. We're not living like this for no reason. We got jobs, we work. We're normal human beings until we're not. So, but yeah, that's, that's my, that's my, like, this is my I'm coming back video for the most part I'm gonna try I'm gonna try as hard as I can to give y'all content man like I don't know if y'all want girl content like videos with girls how we used to do it in Miami or do y'all want funny videos how I used to mic up I'm gonna just search around find the niche whatever I feel like y'all really like entertaining more which I really like it more I'm gonna push that out more and feel me just hopefully well, not hopefully next time we talk bro just know next time we talk I'm ranting and shit Next time we talk, I'm gonna have 100k. I'm gonna be popping big shit. You feel me? I'm gonna be popping big shit, doing big things with a whole lot of great people. I love all y'all. I hope y'all stay blessed. Always chase your dreams. Uh, TikTok collabs, YouTube collabs, don't matter. Promos, you got clothes you want. Bro, I'll buy your clothes and wear them on TikTok. You feel me? I'll buy it off you. I'm not even asking for free. I'll buy your clothes. That's how much I support people that just want to chase their dreams. That shit make me happy when I see someone chasing their dream. <laughs> But, you feel me? As always, before we head up out of here, if you're not tapped in, you tap out. Love.